In this video, we'll be taking a look at a series of common network protocols. So firstly, what exactly is a protocol? Well, we can use a very simple analogy. Imagine we have someone that only speaks German and we have someone else that only speaks English. We can effectively say they're speaking different protocols. And because of this, they'll find it hard, if not impossible, to communicate. However, let's imagine now, let's imagine now that the person who spoke German is duolingual and also speaks English. Because there is a common protocol, both people can now communicate. And that's essentially what a protocol is. It's a set of rules that allows two devices to communicate. Different types of protocol are used for different purposes. You need to be aware of the basic principles and purposes of the following protocols. And we're going to go through them now. So firstly, the TCP slash IP protocol. The Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, provides error-free transmission between two routers. And the Internet Protocol, IP, routes packets across a wide area network. Together they make up the TCP IP protocol stack, which is the foundation of how we communicate over the Internet. Next we have HTTP and HTTPS. So the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP, is a way for a client and a server to send and receive quests and deliver HTML web pages. It's the fundamental protocol of the World Wide Web. HTTPS adds secure. It's effectively the same as HTTP, except it adds in encryption and authentication. HTTPS should be used whenever a website handles sensitive information like passwords or bank details. The last three, POP, IMAP and SNTP, are three protocols that are used in conjunction with mail servers to deal with email. Mail servers act like a virtual post office for all incoming and outgoing mail. The Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, SMTP, transfers outgoing emails between servers or from an email client to a server. The Post Office Protocol, or POP, Transfer emails from the mail server to your device, removing them from the server in the process. Now this one's not technically in the specification, but for completeness we've included it here. What you do need to know about is IMAP, the Internet Message Access Protocol. This keeps emails on the server, which ensures synchronicity between devices. Having watched this video, here's a summary. Pause and take some notes. Are you taking the exam in the summer of 2027 or later? If you are, the exam board has simplified the AQA GCSE 8525 specification and actually removed some content. You no longer will be expected to know the rest of this video and it will not appear in your exam. Unfortunately, if you're taking the exam in the summer of 2026, you must continue to watch this video as the content could appear in your exam. So here are the additional protocols you need to be aware of on top of the ones shown earlier if you're taking this exam in the summer of 2025. Firstly, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Now, technically, these aren't protocols, strictly speaking. Rather, they're families of related protocols. But at GCSE, we can be simpler. Ethernet is a standard set of protocols for use on local area networks. And Wi-Fi is a trademark and a set of protocols for wireless communication. The generic term for a network that makes heavy use of Wi-Fi is a wireless local area network, or WLAN. Now, we looked at TCP IP earlier. UDP is similar. It stands for User Datagram Protocol. It uses a simple, connectionless transmission model. It's an alternative to TCP, but it has no error checking. It's used to send short messages using datagrams, where speed is more important than accuracy. It maintains an open, two-way connection, ideal for online gaming. 
it's now largely obsolete as it's less reliable than TCP. And finally, we have the File Transmission Protocol, or FTP. This is used for sending files between computers, typically via a wide area network. People often use FTP clients. That's a software application that sits on top of the actual FTP protocol. Users interact with the FTP client, and this generates and sends the appropriate FTP commands for them. Thank you.